Capri Sun's four updated drinks. They have all natural ingredients. And no added sugar. And no added sugar. <laughs> when was the last time you enjoyed a Capri Sun? Do you sneak a few sips from your kid's pouch, buy them for yourself, or have you done away with it altogether for a healthier, better option? If so, you may be on the right track because the juice brand has a few skeletons in its closet that may make you want to look for a better option. Take a big sip and let's check out the top 10 untold truths of Capri Sun. We come in search of... Capri Sun immigrated to America. Oh, say can you see? That's right. Capri Sun originated in Germany in 1969. It was called Capri Sun after the Italian island. It made its way over to the United States in 1981 under the Kraft brand. The brand, of course, hit the ground running. Who is going to complain about a juice that is in an environmentally friendly pouch? Also, it was the new kid on the block, so everyone wanted a taste. Capri Sun quickly made a mark in America. We can assume this is because they brought new, exciting flavors to the market. To this day, scandals and all, they still have a tight grip on the American market. In Germany and the rest of Europe, this drink is a favorite and a staple in kids' lunch containers. While more and more competitors close in, Capri Sun is still the leading brand. But for how long? Simon, I can make this last forever. Checking us out for the first time? This is a limited edition. You damn right it's limited. Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Now, more on Capri Sun. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? Those environmentally friendly Capri Sun packages? Not so friendly. I will not let you destroy my world! Yikes. 2015 was a hard year for Capri Sun. In addition to some scandals we'll get to soon, the company also got called out for their not-so-environmentally friendly pouches. According to the Huffington Post, the packaging is made with multiple layers of plastic and aluminum that are very difficult to recycle. They upset enough people that a coalition started basically telling Kraft to clean up after themselves. The campaign was called Make It, Take It. They gave Kraft two options, pick up after yourselves or use packaging that is actually environmentally friendly as opposed to just telling people it is. The first option would have never worked out, seeing as it would cost too much money. Think about it. Kraft would have to hire people to go around picking up Capri Sun packages, or they would have to provide cities with drop-off sites where people could drop their packages in. The best option was to just make a package that was actually environmentally friendly. Kraft said that they have been working on better packaging for some time now and that they already implemented environmentally friendly cardboard boxes. It's almost 2019 and the packaging is still the same. You're not gonna change anything. Capri Sun flavors around the world. Combine one flavor with another and something new was created. As with almost everything else, America is the last to get the best, most exotic flavors of anything. This is no different when it comes to Capri Sun. There have been debates online about which flavor is the best. Some say orange, others say grape, surfer cool, and fruit punch. However, this is only because they have no clue what they are missing. Mango passion fruit, apple strawberry, multivitamin, summer berries, and that's only options from Africa. In other parts of the world, like China, they have black currant, pear, white grape, and peach apple. How can you not want to get on a plane just to try all the different flavors they have in Europe and beyond? In some parts of the world, they even have a reclosable pouch. Now, I haven't had a Capri Sun in a while, but this seems like a new and very useful concept. This is not a good idea! How many Capri Sun slogans? There's no better way than with a glass of fresh squeezed Sunny Dale orange juice. Over the years, in an effort to rebrand their product, the company has had a number of slogans. The three most popular being the taste of fun, liquid cool, and respect the pouch. However, around the world, there have been a few slogans that didn't make it out of the 80s, and we like to think it's for a good reason. Like, there's only one. We happen to think this slogan was way too close to the catchphrase 
recipes that Highlander used. Another one was wholesome fruit juice for kids, but that was proved wrong on several counts. It seems as though this company is constantly having to rebrand. We have to wonder what the original German creators think about the numerous American scandals that surround their once pure and wholesome juice. Capri Sun has been around too long to make basic branding mistakes to the point where they must rebrand themselves over and over. After more than 50 years in the business, we would assume that they would have had a permanent slogan down by now. Even if they updated their logo, there should still be at least one slogan that everyone can relate to. Let's see what the next 50 years brings them. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Capri Sun tried to revive their good standing. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! In 2015, Capri Sun tried to reclaim their good standing in the community after a few rough scandals. What do you think is the best way to do that? That's right, team up with a cartoon-centered brand and leech off their success. Capri Sun teamed up with the Minions from Despicable Me. Their partnership with Pixar, Illumination Entertainment, and Universal Pictures allowed them to use the likeness of the Minions on all of their products. <laughs> They even released a new flavor exclusive with the Minions standalone film called Ban Apple. Unfortunately, we'll never know how it tasted because the flavor didn't make it to the United States. It was rolled out in six European markets, including Austria, Germany, and Switzerland. It will also launch in Jamaica under the revised name of Bapple. The pouches were also collectibles because who doesn't want to keep a juice-stained pouch in their home? Have you ever smelled rancid juice? Ooh. The 12-pack came with fun straws and refrigerator magnets. At least the magnets are something that can be used. Those pouches just have pictures of minions on them. Regardless, the partnership was pretty successful for the brand. Oh, that was unbelievable. Let's Corn syrup no more in Capri Sun. What does it matter if there's nothing left at all? In 2015, after a bit of scandalous and confusing behavior, Kraft was forced to change the way they make Capri Sun juice. For who knows how long, the company has been using high fructose corn syrup in the drinks to get that super sugary taste that makes kids bounce off the walls. Eventually, they had to change the use of corn syrup because, come on, let's be honest, corn syrup isn't good for anyone, especially a growing child. Instead, they just started using straight up sugar, which why weren't they using that before? Sugar in copious amounts still isn't healthy, but at least it's natural. This small change even dropped the calorie count from 60 to 50 calories per pouch. So why did Capri Sun make the change? In a statement, they said they wanted to help parents make healthier choices for their kids. But really, we can assume it had something to do with the fact that they needed to make a bigger and better comeback after a wicked scandal, which we'll talk about soon. They are right, though. Parents don't want to give their kids unhealthy things, especially when the media does nothing but bombard us with the latest health crazes and diet tips. My boyfriend thinks I'm fat. <laughs> so is Capri Sun all natural or not? Delicious. I'm sure you can tell where this is going. It seems like everything Capri Sun says gets contradicted in a matter of years. The company announced in 2015 that they would be ditching their use of high fructose corn syrup. How progressive, right? This could have been a big step for the company only if they could just be honest about everything. You see, they had been down this road before. In 2007, the company slapped that coveted all natural label on their drink pouches, and of course, they flew off the shelf. This supposed lie resulted in a lawsuit against the company. The group of people who sued the company alleged that there is nothing natural about high fructose corn syrup, so therefore the label was false. The lawsuit was successful, and Capri Sun dropped the all-natural label from their pouch. They were eventually sued again soon after because their other all-natural drink, Fruit Refreshers, was proven to not be all-natural as well. It contained citric acid, and well, there's nothing natural about that. If you want me to be brutally honest, I think you just have a morbid desire to burn in hell. Organic Capri Sun? Everyone thinks organic is 
weird or flash or, or posh. Organics is normal, right? The word organic is a buzzword. Put it in front of anything and you attract the attention of a bunch of people who most likely wouldn't have looked at your product before. So, of course, Capri Sun jumped on board. In 2016, the company introduced their organic line of juices. People think they're doing the very best thing for their health by consuming anything that says organic. But truthfully, it doesn't always mean healthy, especially when it comes to Capri Sun. According to the Huffington Post, there is a significant difference in Capri Sun and organic Capri Sun. They compared the nutrition labels and surprise, surprise, it wasn't great. The calories increased from 50 to 70. The total carbohydrates increased from 14 to 17, which accounted for 13 grams of sugar originally to 16 grams of sugar in the organic version. And the sodium jumped from 15 to 20 milligrams. So that's more calories, more sugar sugar, and more sodium. Where's the good in that again? If organic is supposed to be healthier, how is Capri Sun doing just the opposite of that? Basically, have this huge wave of sugar that gets to your liver, and that has a lot of consequence. The moldy truth of Capri Sun. What can you see there? Here it is, the big scandal. Back in 2012, a parent claimed that they found mold in their child's Capri Sun drink pouch. Initially, the brand never responded. Probably chalk it up to someone trying to pull a get-rich-quick scheme. Unfortunately, for the juice company, that was not the case. In fact, after the initial claim, more parents began to come forward with complaints. Supposedly, mold was floating in the bottom of their children's drink. Or worse, their kids were sucking that sticky, gooey, furry mold into their bellies. How could Capri Sun possibly come out from under this? Well, the company claimed that this is nothing but an extremely rare occurrence. But of course, to combat the mold problem, the company implemented this really cool, and not at all related to the mold scandal, pouch with a clear bottom. They also reminded consumers that their products are all natural. Also basically said without saying that this is the price one pays for an all-natural product. They said since there are no preservatives, even a small hole in a pouch means air can get in, allowing mold to form. And that's why they say you should throw away any leaking pouches. But keep in mind, no one reported a leaking pouch, just mold in their drinks. Capri Sun shouldn't be fuzzy. What kind of juice did he drink? It's hard to say how much fungi we are comfortable with being in our food. However, we can safely say that five is too many. We would like to point out that juice probably shouldn't have fungi in it at all. Was the Capri Sun mold scandal just a series of a few coincidences? Well, a research project conducted in 2013 had Capri Sun filtered through a vacuum just to see what would be left behind. To their surprise, they found five species of fungus. One of the researchers said that this amount of fungus was in the popular juice because they don't add preservatives. Too many fungi were able to survive the juicing process. However, they did throw the product a bone by letting fans know that you may not die or get sick from consuming this mold. A researcher said that the worst part of the whole thing is just how gross it looks. This is probably the best news possible for Capri Sun. At least they know that their moldy drinks have a low chance of hurting anyone. Well, seriously, at least. We can only imagine that over time, this will become more of an issue. Kraft is trying to right as many wrongs as they possibly can. But knowing what you know now, is it too late for them? Or will you still be partaking in a sugary sip of your favorite place? playground pouch juice. Who drank my apple juice? While sipping on juice, or not. Hey, you want this? Sure, I'll drink anything. We'd love it if you clicked on another one of our great videos. You can also find out how to become an official Babble Topper by clicking on the join link in the description below.